This video is brought to you by BossRootin.com with big sales on now and PowerPerformanceProducts.com where you can receive $10 off your purchase of Body Storm and Body Effects, the best pre-workout supplements on the market. This is Spencer Lazar, MMAinterviews.tv. I'm here at the Mr. Olympia Convention alongside Tito Ortiz. You're repping uh, Punishment Nutrition, Punishment yes. Athletics tonight. Yeah, I actually know here for Punishment Nutrition and doing my signing, uh, you know, just giving a different opportunity for, of course, MMA fans and, of course, bodybuilders too. Uh, protein lined, uh, actually, um, meal replacement. Uh, gosh, uh, thermogenic uh, C4 actually for energy, of course, and pre-workout, post-workout, stuff that I've used before, you know, from some of the big uh, protein companies and just kind of picked out the things that I've used the most and, uh, you know, put it all in one. And uh, Punish Nutrition, we brought it, uh, brought it to life. So I'm really, really happy, you know, now I can get my, make my own stuff, bring it to all the fans out there to give an opportunity to uh, use what I use, you know, to get ready for a fight, you know, to build size, of course, uh, and strength and endurance and uh, the stuff that I'm using uh, working really, really well. Of course, you've seen from the Bader fight and uh, came a little short with the Rashad fight, but, you know, taking on a two-week notice, I, I did my job. Definitely. And now you got another fight set, Little Nagara up in Canada, UFC 140? Yes, UFC 140, actually December 10th, it'll be live on pay-per-view uh, in Toronto. I've never fought up in Canada yet, but I know I have a lot of Canada, uh, Canadian fans, so uh, it's awesome to bring it up to them live for the first time, you know. There'll be some uh, fireworks in the air. Hey, this was a fight that was supposed to happen uh, a few months ago. Yeah, actually, of course, uh, it didn't happen. March uh, 28th of, last, or of this year, I was supposed to fight him, and it didn't happen. I got cut uh, sparring. With no headgear, I probably shouldn't have did that, and I did it with no headgear, uh, and I got cut. I got 22 stitches in my head, so I had to pull out of the fight. It was two weeks before, or three weeks before the fight, and I couldn't step up. I got a, little bad, a lot of bad flack from it, but at the same time, uh, you know, I got to look out for my career. And uh, I made it up with the Bader fight, of course, getting my hand raised and uh, dominating. So how do you think, how do you see this fight going? You're going to want to keep it standing with this guy? He's a southpaw. You confident in your stand-up? You caught Bader there inside, of course, got the submission. That's the same thing. Uh, you know, I watched some of the mistakes that uh, Noguera has. You know, I watched him get knocked out a couple times. Uh, he's a southpaw. Um, my strengths are against southpaws. Of course, when I fought uh, Vitor Belfort, uh, you know, uh, Noguera stands in front of you, and he wants to fight, which I love. You know, I think the fans deserve that type of fight where he wants to fight, and I'm going to try to punch him out. I'm going to try to knock him out. You know, I got uh, submission the night with Bader. I got fight of the night with Rashad. Now I'm going to get knock of the night on December 10th. Definitely. And well, you're not scared, obviously, to go to ground. Like, I, he has great jiu-jitsu, but I know you're, you're not worried about that. You wouldn't be opposed to taking him down. Uh, I'm a little intimidated by the, the ground, of course. Uh, you know, he's a black belt. He's one of the best in the ground. So, like I say, I'm going to keep him on my feet. I'm going to get the fans what they want to see, and that's a knockout. Talk about the training at King's MMA quick and close this out. You know, uh, actually, uh, King's, I trained uh, before the Bader fight. Actually, bef before I fought, uh, when well, I was supposed to fight Noguera for a few weeks. And, uh, you know, those guys go a little hard. You know, uh, of course, I, I got to look out for my career. So that's why I opened up my punishment training center. You know, I have a lot of guys there that I'm training with. Uh, you know, Ricardo Abreu, a, a jiu-jitsu black belt also. A lot of guys that I'm sparring with, bringing in. Southpaws now, of course, for uh, this fight. But at the same time, at punishment uh, training center, we're getting the best out of it there. Okay. Appreciate the time, Tito. We'll let you get back to the signings, man. Appreciate it again. Spencer Lazar, MMAinterviews.tv. Godspeed and party on.